All right, Freddie Mookie, let's start with you, Freddie. What is it about this relationship that works so well? Yeah, you guys are. Uh, yeah, it's. It, I mean, it was a fast starting relationship last year when I came into spring training. Um, you know, we just kind of have the same mindsets on life and in baseball. So I think when you find out a person that has the same personalities, same likes, same interests, you just kind of get drawn to that person. It's pretty odd. Pretty fast that we figured that out. Last right, so year. you open the door, like you, you share with us. Like we want to get to know you a little bit. So what are the what are those similar likes, etc.? I think it's more of just like obviously baseball is one thing, but it's more of like family time. We we prioritize that over baseball, I think, and that's just who we are as people. And obviously, we, how we conduct ourselves with each other and our families carries over to the baseball yeah. field. We just have a good time in life. Um, we love our wives, we love our kids, and we love our teammates, and we come out here and we love the game of baseball, too. How, how, often, are you hang, how often are you hanging out? Like, how has this relationship evolved over the last year and a half? Um, from, for, it, to his point, like, we're with our families. When we go away from the field, typically we're with our families. Together? Uh, it's sometimes. Yeah. Well, two weeks ago, I was waiting. He just pulled up my house. He was. We just showed up at his house, and he wasn't there. He was bowling. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Chelsea and I waited for him to get home. But that was that was what a week ago. Yeah, two weeks like, ago. Right before. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, we, Chelsea and I were no having. Idea. Yeah, Chelsea and I were having dinner right next to his house, and we were like, "Yeah, let's just go to Mookie's house real yeah. quick." But that's a comfort that you know. Look, you guys are really good guys. I'm sure you have great relationships mm. with a lot of people. But this hasn't been a long time. But there's a comfort level, like. Where does that come from? Um, I don't know. Really I think cool. I think I, I mean I think Freddie kind of said it all, and then and then there's also this weird thing where we don't have to talk, but we know what each other is saying, <laughs> doing, you know, and I, maybe that's what it is. I, I can't really explain it, but I just know that we view like like he said we view life up. A like and that's the key word is comfort I think it's just we're comfortable around each other and that was pretty fast starting you could just see the comfort level was there in 2022 in March when I got there this Camelback Ranch it was just it was an easy relationship to start and I think that the key word is comfort yeah. I think that one of the main things was when I and when I when he first came over and I knew you know we all kind of saw how he got here right and I knew like okay he may he may not he doesn't really know how he got here and he doesn't even know if he really wants to be here just yet. And I'm not gonna try and force him to be here. So I told him like, hey, if you ever wanna talk, I'm here. If not, cool, I didn't force it on him. And I think it was just genuine at that point. Like we just wanted to talk to each other, but we gave each other space. Sure. And then it just uh, eventually. How, for you, how long did it take you to get into the position to say to anybody, let alone a superstar, if you wanna talk? Like your, your comfort level with yourself yeah. is a big part of this, I'm right. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It really took me talking to my wife. I was talking to my wife about it, and I want to say it was like the second or third day. Um, and I was like, you know, he, I could just tell he was quiet, you know. And it wasn't the same Freddie that when you go to first base. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I knew, and I knew I, I came here. I got traded, and it was all new for me too. And it's all new for him and I didn't really know what to say there's nothing really to say to him I can't help you can't help a grown man through a situation like this it's his his experience and so I was just man if you ever want to talk yeah I'm but here. you know what you did that you ever yeah. want to talk yeah like somebody that's who's the willing key. to do that yeah right? it's just uh when I first got here that's he was obviously him and Andrew Friedman just set up arms around you know the Freeman family and it was just one of those relationships that started because of how genuine he was and you know as a person, as a human, you could see the genuine in him, yeah. and I think that's what started the relationship. So it yeah. struck me, I read last year on your way to Wrigley Field after the paternity leave, you're in traffic, and you're you're on the phone with Freddie. Yeah. What, what yeah. was that con conversation <laughs> like? Um, and why did you get on with him, and how did you get on with him? He, call, I wanted, he called me, yeah, I was, and he was like, hey, uh, where are you at? Because I was supposed to be there, and the traffic was horrible. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, he wanted me to start. <laughs> That's, that's I want him in the lineup. Yeah, okay. in the lineup. We all want Mookie Betts in the lineup. <laughs> and so I was like, bro, I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. And said, so he said, uh, he just got, he literally got all my stuff ready. He's like, all your stuff will be ready. It's right like here. Your mom before school. Yep. Uh, he, I, had, yeah, I, had all, I had everything ready. Everything for ready to go. To everything ready to go. So as soon as I came in, everything was laid out ready for me. And you knew who did it. Oh yeah, he, we were talking, oh, yeah. FaceTiming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking. <laughs> we talked for about, had to be 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes, you know, and I was too 
two miles away from the stadium. All right, so he's <laughs> playing shortstop that night, but there's other nights he plays second base. Yeah. So you're the first baseman, and you you look over and you see him at second base. Yeah. What are some of the dynamics that exist then? Yeah, I like we you probably saw it in the Ultra game. I'm not a big like talker during the game, and I <laughs> he's just so excited to be on the dirt. He loves playing <laughs> the infield, so he's always trying to talk to me. And uh, you know, it's. It's just a, it's kind of weird seeing Mookie at second base when you just know he's like the best right fielder in the game and then he's up here, but then he's like the best second baseman in the game too. It's just one of those weird things, but yeah, he's always trying to talk and that. It's always me going like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, it. That's all I get. Anything. That's all I get. Yeah, because he's just so excited and yeah. it's just fun. Like it's an amazing athlete to be, you know, teammates with. He can play, do anything. Goes bulls 300 in the morning, comes here and hits three right. home runs if he wants. It's, it's pretty special. Yeah. The, the mutual respect. What, what are some of the things that you have discovered about Freddie, the player? I, I get the <laughs> sense about the person, but the player, that's kind of been like a wow couple of moments. Um, I think the, the consistency, not on the field, but like in the cage and like how he sticks to his routine, how he doesn't get high, doesn't get low, doesn't matter what's going on. He just separates everything, anything and everything and takes it one pitch at a time. If he has a bad call, you know, whatever it is, it's like he just does, he stays right here. Did you ask him about that? Like, how do you nah, do that? No, nah, I just, I watch and I try and do it myself. You know, I try and do it myself and it's hard, but it's also kind of easy when you have a perfect example, you know, each and every day, no matter if we're losing, winning, you know, and sometimes when I'm not feeling that good, he'll just look at me and be like, come on, let's go. We got to go. We got to go. And, you know, if he says something, he doesn't talk much, right? But if he ever says something like that, you know he really means it. And uh, that means you need to get going. Tell me about the uh, ping pong tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. Yes. Like you, I mean, I, I get the sense that in yeah. recent accomplishments, that's moved to near the top. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we got put together. We, we were just trying to figure out if we were going to play because, you know, it's an off day. And I knew if I was going to play and I knew if he was going to play, the competitiveness was going to come out. And I was like, mm -hmm. do we really want to do this on our off day? We don't. We play every game. And then we decided we were going to play. So the first game, we barely won. Barely won barely the first won. game. We weren't moving very good because nope. you have to, each and every shot you switch off. And then by the third game, it was over with. It was we we figured out how to move together. Um, he was going. We, we we just started just going in circles, and it was kind of over. Double all this people. happened without. Double all this people. happened like. The, the cool thing to me was uh, this all happened like and we didn't talk <laughs> there was no talking going on we just played and like it's just like a telekinesis thing i don't know what it is and we just started moving and freddie was like oh we're moving now <laughs> that's all he said there, there's clearly with. there's this sort of chemistry going yeah, on yeah, that, yeah, that you yeah. both grow to appreciate mm -hmm. i think it's just i think in the uh, for me for, for sure it's just like you gen just genuinely want what's best for him i want him to play well not only just for him, but for his Hall of Fame career, for his family, for anything and everything. I just want Freddie to be great, you know, and it's, it's just fun watching and it's fun being a part of it. You all know, like, you have the same war. I mean, I don't know if you even pay attention to that, but I was looking last night. You both like, got a 5.1 career war. There's a lot of similarities between the two of you on the field that you probably wouldn't think about, but they do exist. I mean, are you aware of those types of things? Uh, I mean, I don't. Uh, no, 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 that's no, fine. Not yeah. to me. I'm just curious if you were. <laughs> everyone asks like me, like, do you compete? I'm like, we don't compete against no. each other. That is like that. the farthest thing. <laughs> when that question ever gets, I'm like, what are you talking about? And I was like, no, we just want the best for each other, and we're in the lineup together. We're trying to do everything we can to help the Los Angeles Dodgers win a baseball game, yep. and that is our only cares. And I think that's like we just kind of push. To, we're just yep. trying to push each other and push our teammates to try and win the game. That do you ever say to yourself like? How and you brought this up with when he came over, but do you ever say to yourself and then to each other, like, how did we end up here, <laughs> both of us? Um, I don't think we've ever talked yeah, about it like uh -uh. that, no. Um, I think we just kind of embraced it, yeah. you know. We, we, we we're here, we are here, and yeah. there's nothing we can do about it, you know, so we're <laughs> here, and ain't no sense in really talking a whole lot about it. It's like, while we're here, Let's this ball, yeah. And make the most of it. You really, you're finishing each other's sentences. Yeah. There you go. Oh. You do realize that <laughs> <laughs> this bromance will continue it long will. after baseball. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, for, oh sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Like how you, this is, is this unique? I mean, you've been around so many players. You have really good friends all across baseball. There's, it feels unique. Yeah, it's just more of the fact that we're friends and then our wives are friends. Mm -hmm. That's what's so special about this relationship. Uh, his his daughter Kenley and I, no, uh, cousin Freddie. Yeah, it's it's just. 
it's just a whole family situation for us. Not just us in the clubhouse and playing on the field and we just separate and go home and don't talk to each other. This is a... We ride the bus together yeah, every day every, coming to the field. Like, what time are we going to... We live near each other? Uh, yeah, we yeah. live near each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is a whole year-round thing. So, and so you know, it's really cool, though. Is, I mean, you, you it was a struggle. And Dansby was that guy to your Charlie. You know, in Atlanta, <laughs> yeah. and now you oh, have yeah. this relation. So it's really nice yeah. to see that because yeah, it was a struggle great. a little bit. No, I mean, we, we all go through things it was hard. in life. Yeah, everything goes. Everyone goes through. Every everybody switches jobs. Everyone does things. So you just gotta go through it, and we got through it, and here we are now. So since you're not competing with each other, but you are competing with the Giants and, and every other team in the National League, t tell me about what you like about this team as it moves forward and getting into the postseason. I, I just think that it's more about what we have in the clubhouse. Obviously, we're playing good baseball, but when you have what we have in the clubhouse and all the guys care for each other, pull on the same rope, it carries over onto the field. And obviously, there's a lot of good teams in our division. Uh, it's a fun race. It's going to be a fun race the last six, seven weeks. Uh, but we're playing really good baseball, and hopefully we can continue doing that. Yeah, I mean, I would say the same thing. I mean, you know, it's it's not going to be easy, you know, but as long as we're playing for each other, you know, and, and you go out and you let the game dictate what's going to happen. You can't really go out and worry about it too much. You just go play and we see what happens. And you know, like you said, it's going to be a dog fight, though. Are you amazed at how he's able to hit? Or you um, I'm over it now. <laughs> you are? I'm over it now, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. Like, I get it. I mean, at first, but... Uh, I mean, and now I'm over it. There's nothing really else you, he could do that they can. Are couldn't. you over how easy it is for him to go from right to short to second? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm over it. Too. It doesn't yeah. make sense. It, it doesn't make sense. That's what. It, that's the key. That's thing. exactly. It doesn't make sense. And don't try and make it make sense. Yeah, and don't. You just, just watch it. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Yep. All right, fellas. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.